with student athletes following the game tonight. We're going to open up first with questions for Langston Patterson. Uh, Langston, what do you think happened on the uh, two long runs for a touchdown by Auburn uh, early in the game? Yeah, at the end of the day, our defense is built on total effort and structure, um, and that will lead us to tackles and just producing. So on those plays, one of them was me. I was out of my gap. And then on the other one, you know, one of the other players was out of his gap, and we just got to uh, stay structured and play as hard as we can every play, snap in, snap out. Um, and at the end of the day, just down the ball no matter what happens. Um, and disappointing when those two runs broke out, uh, we just got to continue to bounce back from those. Feels like you're playing with a level of freedom and confidence. Is that more so recently, or has that always been there? And it's just showing up a little more now. Uh, I think it's always been there. It's showing up a little bit more now. Um, but they did move me out to a position a little bit where I play a little bit more in space, and it's a little bit more, um, you know, playing some of the field perimeter stuff, playing some of the box too, um, instead of always playing the box. So I feel like that um, is kind of like what you're able to see, just like the play on the perimeter, but uh, I feel like it's always been there, and Coach Wazinski does a good job of uh, just loving us up and allowing us to play free. Was there a point either this year or last year where you kind of told yourself, okay, I can play in the SEC and I can, you know, I can, play, I can hang with these guys? Um, I w not necessarily. Um, my mentality is, has always just been like I'm going to do whatever I can, like give it my all no matter what, and just kind of 100%. 110% within everything. So uh, just going out there last year on special teams uh, was like kind of my major role in trying to just make a difference with every snap I got. Um, and just really, uh, God's given me the ability to come out there, come out here and play this beautiful game. And I try to play and give the glory to Him, uh, snap in, snap out. And um, yeah. Can you tell us more about Nick Wazinski and what some of his coaching points have been to you over the years? Yeah, um, we uh, both are pretty hard-headed and stubborn sometimes through things. So, uh, you know, I feel like he's uh, been a great coach to me and someone I love to come in the office and see every day. Um, he really loves me up well, and he knows when to get at me. And it, sometimes it's tough love, but at the end of the day, we both, I feel like we both push each other to be uh, better and just to try to, try to win. Uh, yeah, for me, that's probably the coolest part of this whole thing, just being able to play with my brother uh, is something truly special. Um, just being able to look to my side and see him out there and celebrate with him on big plays. And uh, really, I know that he's my biggest supporter and I'm his biggest supporter. Um, and there's just such a level of trust there. And uh, we love competing together, always have since we were little. Um, and just being able to be on the field with someone that you've competed with and everything in life and just push each other to be y'all's very best. Um, it's super cool for this to finally kind of pan out and uh, just awesome to be out there with him. With it being, I guess, a tough stretch, a team losing streak, how do you gain perspective in a time like this? Yeah, I mean, really the team's just got to come together in unity. Um, you know, tough loss, it hurts everyone. It hurts to have such a good week of preparation uh, to come up short on only a couple plays. Um, that really affected us there in the game. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, we got to flush it come Monday um, and really put our heads down and uh, tackle this South Carolina team that we have next week. Anything else, guys? Right. Thank you. Thank you.